It's your boy, Mr. Beach, Backyard Barbecue. On how to cook a quick meal during the work week. All right, simple. Instead of going to buy ground beef, you buy you some of these. Black Angus beef burgers, right? Or any of them uh, patties that, don't buy the cheap one. You be pissed off with the little rubber. That's for the kids, you know what I mean? When they got a bunch of kids and, and uh, they just, I'm hungry, I'm trying. You buy that, but when you want delicacy, Buy you some of these, or get you some some kind of Angus burger, or uh, what's the other ones called? What uh, hey, what's they called? It'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, buy you some of these. Get you some seasoning, man. That's all you do. Pump you some seasoning on there. Obviously, that's that nature. I always use that. And I'm gonna use some of this. You ever seen this? Let me give you a close up. That's that Weber's blazing burger. Weber needs to give me some money, man, because I be doing too much of their stuff for free. Anyway, yeah, man, quick meals. That's what we doing, quick meals. Uh, start a segment on how to do quick meals on the grill, because uh, sometimes we get lazy and don't want to do nothing, uh, especially during the week. And then we just go from there, man. Get you some. Uh, be back real quick. Grill's already going. Smoke rolling. And uh, we're going to do the thing, man. Uh, should only take you about an hour. To cook these, maybe 30 minutes on each side, depending on where you put them on your grill. And then you flip them over, or well, you season them. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. You season them while they froze straight out the pack. Um, the reason why you do that is if they're not frozen, you stick them on now. Now, if you made them homemade, you got to worry about it splitting open if you don't make it a perfect circle and the meat's all, all uh, intertwined together. Intertwined. You know what I mean? Stuck together. Uh, but if you do them frozen, they already stuck together just like you made them and when you stick them on there You let them sit on there and when the water uh, Or the ice from it being frozen sweats out of it It'll keep the burger whole and it'll keep its size more than it would if you just took a burger that was room temperature so to speak um, And just put it on the grill. That's the thought for the day. But anyway, um, we're gonna come back in a minute I'm gonna bust this box open and then we're gonna go from there, man Like I said Black Angus burgers. Remember, kids, cook them for yourself. You got a lot of people coming over. You buy the little cheap, cheap burgers. You know you seen them in the uh, the orange and black box. Come with about fifty of them for ten dollars. Them little cheap knockoff burgers, man. They probably made from I don't. I don't even want to think of what they made of. Used to eat them all the time as a kid. But that's what you feed everybody else. Then after everybody got good and full, you slide your some of these on there. Take them out the grill. And put them up. You mess around and put them in the same pan with everything else. You're subject to be pissed off when you come back to eat. Anyway, thought for the day. Let me know if you done done that or doing it right now. I'll let you boy. We'll be back in a minute. All right. We back. Like I said, I'm going to show you these Angus burgers. These uh, black Angus burgers, be exact. So you a quick way to put them on the grill and make a quick meal. Simple. Six in a pack. All you do, real simple. Bust them open and throw them on now. That ain't all you do. But, uh, take the paper off. Obviously, you don't want to burn that up. That's a quick way to mess up some burger. Quick meals, y'all. Quick meals. Spread them around. Then, use seasoning. For this one, I'm going to use, I'm going to use three on Blazing Burger seasoning from Weber. Love this stuff. And then your typical nature season for the wifey on three of them. And then, if she don't eat three, then uh, I'm going to be eating more than myself. Simple, man. You just sprinkle this on top. And when you flip it over, you do the same thing. Easy day. Real simple. When you're lazy, you don't want to do nothing, you put them on that froze because you want them to hold uh, hold the moisture. Easy day. Put your top on there and come back. We'll be back. 
I'm going to show you how it's done. Peace. All right. Here we go. Checking it out real quick. That's it. Flipping them over real quick. Real quick. Like I said, all you do, slap a little seasoning on. Woo, you can smell it. Easy day. Put the top back on. These burgers by done. All right, simple, right? They pretty much done. All you do now, throw you some cheese on now. And you good to go. Like I don't even have to take the top off now. I can just let it sit. Let the cheese melt. Of course, these are my burgers. The ones I'm putting cheese on. Some simple American sliced cheese. And then I got some Swiss. For the wifey. And I know she ain't gonna eat all three. So they gonna be mine. Throw you some of that little Swiss cheese on there. Well, there ain't even two slices anyway. Slide it over a little bit. Let it sit. And then we're done. I'll show you the final product when we get in the house, y'all. All right, y'all. Check out the finished product. Yup, that's four of them. The other two uh, just sitting off. Look at the setup. Real quick and easy. And some regular toasted buns. Straight off the grill, y'all. Like I said, quick meals. Holla at your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Quick meals, session one.